Welcome to this video on Accelerate Forms Online. This video will provide details on how to create a new contact in Accelerate using the nine simple steps. Upon completion of this lesson, you will be able to create a contract in Accelerate by selecting the transaction type, entering property information and optional criteria, selecting packets to work with, going through a packet summary, filling out the forms in the packet, printing, emailing, or faxing the packet, and signing out. You will now watch demonstrations of how to create a new contract in Accelerate. Start by logging on to Accelerate. Please review the video of accessing Accelerate if you need to learn how to log in. Once you have logged on, you will be on the home page called My Dashboard. On the left side of the dashboard, you will see a navigation bar. Click on the second option from the top, which is the Create Transaction link. This will open the Create Transaction page. Click on the arrow next to the Select Transaction field to open the Select Transaction menu. Select the type of transaction you want to create from the menu by scrolling down the menu and clicking on that option. If you are licensed in more than one state, you can select the state you would like to write your contract in. Some contracts can be written where you can pull information from the Long and Foster Listing database to populate some of the fields of your contract. This database includes all active listings from your MLS. To use this option, click the MLS Information button on the left side of the page under Property Information. Now select the MLS you wish to pull the information from in the drop-down menu by clicking on that MLS company. Directly under the MLS Company field, enter the MLS listing number of the listing you are pulling information from. On the right side of the Property Information window, you can, instead of entering MLS information, select the county the property is located in. This would be used for listing contracts or any other type of contract you wish to write. Click on the County button to select the county. Click on the arrow next to the County field to open the menu of all the different counties in your state you can select from. Now click on the name of the county the property is located in. You must either select the MLS information or the county information in the property information page, but not both. Directly under the property information is optional criteria. If you fill out this section, Accelerate will remove some of the optional forms that will appear in the packet summary. Also, some optional forms may become mandatory. To fill out this section, click on the buttons and check boxes next to those fields that apply to your contract. Once you have completed filling out this page, click on either of the two Submit buttons. The Select Packet window may appear if there is more than one contract to select from. Select the contract you want to use by clicking on the button next to the contract under the list of packets. Now click the OK button. If there is only one contract to select from, the Select Packet window will not appear. The Packet Summary window will open. This window will list all of your contract forms you may need to write this contract. The bold forms at the top are the list of your required forms. The required forms are already pre-selected with their checkboxes already checked. These checkboxes are also grayed out since you cannot unselect a required form. Under the required forms are the optional forms. You can select any of the optional forms you want to use by clicking on the checkboxes next to those forms. The red light displays when there are required fields in the forms that have not been filled out. If the green light is displayed, it means all of the required fields have been filled out. Put your cursor on the name of the top form in the packet summary and click on it. This will cause a new window to open and display the form. On the left side of the window is the form showing all of the form's wording and verbiage. This is called Form View. On the right side, just the form fields are displayed. This is called Express View. You can fill in the blank fields on either the Form View or Express View. 
As you fill in the fields, you will see the same wording appear on the opposite view. You can skip back and forth between the two views. You can also tab through either view. There are no required entries on any forms in order to save and print them. Once you have finished filling in the fields, you can click the Save and Next button at the top of the page. This will save the fields you filled in, close the form you were working on, and open the next form. You can now continue to fill out the next form. You can continue filling out the forms and saving them until you are finished. Once you have finished, click the Save and Return button. This will save your entries and return you to the Packet Summary page. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page to display the buttons. Click on the Print, Email, and Fax button at the bottom of the page. The Print, Email, and Fax page will open. This page will display all of the forms you selected for your contract. These forms are pre-checked and ready to be printed. Uncheck any form or forms you do not want to print. Select any of the print options you would like to use by clicking on the checkbox next to that option. After that, you can click on the Print, Email, or Fax button as desired. To print your contract, Click the Print button to open your Adobe Acrobat Reader. The Adobe Acrobat Reader will open and display your contract. You can now review your contract. To print your contract, click the Print icon on your Adobe Acrobat Reader in the upper left-hand corner. This will open a print menu. Make your selections on the print menu and click the OK button to print your contract. Your contract will now print on the selected printer. To email your contract, click the Email button, which will open the email window. Enter the email address of the person or persons you would like to send this email to in the To field. You may fill out any other of the fields you wish to use for this email. Now click the Submit button in the lower left-hand corner of the window. This will send your email to the recipients listed. To fax your contract, click the Fax button to open the fax window. Fill in the name of the recipient of this fax along with the fax number in the Name and Fax field at the top of the window. You may fill out any of the other appropriate fields. Now click the Submit button to send your fax. The fax will be sent electronically to the recipients listed. To log off Accelerate, click the Log Off link in the upper right-hand corner of the page. A window will open and ask you if you are sure you want to log off. Click OK to log off Accelerate. This concludes this video on how to create a new contract in Accelerate using the nine simple steps. Additional training videos on this and other topics are on the Long and Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.